Hi seniors, this is Mr. Reem. I am just going to give you a quick reminder of how to update and add colleges to your Naviance account. If you do not remember how to log into your Naviance or your login information, the easiest way is to actually use the Clever button, which lives on the login page uh, right underneath the, the username and password field. And that is used using your TTUSD Google account. So you do not need to remember a specific Naviance password. We just changed that so you can use that if you've forgotten or do not have access to your username and password to log in. Once you log in, to update your colleges that you've applied to, all you need to do is from this home page in this little area, you click on colleges I'm applying to with this little graduation cap next to it, and it's going to take you to this page. Okay. If you've already added some schools, you should see them here. If it's blank, to add a college, you head right up here to this plus button. And you're going to click the name of the school that you're going to apply to. So if I want to say San Diego State, I'll click San Diego State, your application type submitted. I've submitted my application. Please do not use the add and request transcript button. Uh, there's a whole other tutorial about how to request transcripts. Most schools, you do not need to do this. However, click add application. And then now that will then show here. To update the information about the school itself, in terms of like your decision and results, over here on the right hand side it says application and then it'll say accepted, submitted, unknown. So for San Diego State, we've hit submitted. To update it, we hit edit. And then the result lives here. All right, so you have all these different options. We accept, we uh, collect all of these different things. So. We do not only collect the accepted options, we also need to collect your denials, unfortunately. Um, I know that's a sad thing, but um, if you applied well, you probably did get denied to some schools, and that's okay. Um, but it's important, not only for our information, but it also helps students in the future, like it helped you if you used any of these like um, scattergrams or data that lives on Naviance. It tells uh, the system kind of what happened to your application and how things went for you. And so if we were to say denied, all right, and then we hit save. It'll simply update here, and you just need to do that prior to our meetings for senior checkouts for the post high school options. All right. The last thing you can do if you want, we will also do this at the senior checkout, um, is basically set your attending institution. Um, that is something that once you, it only will show you the accepted, it will weed out the denied options. Okay, so you could do that. The last area that I will just mention, we will actually manage the transcripts later, but you can click on this to do that um, and we will order your final transcripts. But if you are ever curious about how do I need to send transcripts, this little icon here will tell you that. So all of these different schools will accept a digital transcript or a common app transcript, which is this one, that we will send via Naviance and we can actually order that together during our post high school checkout. Anything here that has a posted icon. Um, a lot of junior colleges and some four-year like UCs, like UC Davis, they only accept mailed transcripts. And we will go over the process together during senior checkouts about how to do that via parchment. So thank you for watching this, and hopefully you guys get this all updated before your senior checkouts that happen this May.